Greetings, everyone. So, I have another creepy treat for you today. This is one I actually picked up on Steam many moons ago and never got around to playing. So, I thought, uh, let's give it a try. This one's called Serena. It's an indie horror game. And, uh, basically, uh, very story-based from my understanding. And, uh, it's about a, a guy who's trying to find his lost wife or something like that. That's a, a very vague recollections of what this is all about. But... Apparently very mysterious and creepy and and quite good. So let's uh, let's check out Serena. Here we go. Sometimes when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Click on things. Her photo is right there. Maybe I could have another look. Oops. Okay then. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Oh. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember. Damn. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. Okay. Ah, it's kind of like the seventh guest. Sabbath, how I learned the devil's music. The unfortunate life of a Tokobo sage. Encyclopedia Frobazica. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. Yeah. The smell of old books is intoxicating. I what agree. happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it a distinctive <coughs> vanilla smell. I totally agree. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Crowdfunding, or how I met some great people and went broke. <laughs> Dagon for goats in 24 hours. Quarter 9, Dream of Snow. James Kellogg, Portrait of a Serial Killer. Ha <laughs> ha! Cabras Lesbianas Macabras. Oh, that sounds erotic. The Art of Drowning. Behind the left hand arcade. A night at the Fairy Grotto. So, you want to be a purple tentacle. <laughs> English Grandma for beginners. I L still can't understand. Stones. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. This one. Can we look at the. Oh, here we are. The things that keep us tired. Common sense and other lovely fairy tales. I'm loving these titles. Nephilim, the greatest mystery of the antediluvian world. Vohal Strikes Back, the official hint, hint book. Oh my god, that's. I, I know what that's in reference to. That's uh, Space Quest. Zombie Space Dinosaurs from the Deep Ate My Family. Somewhere in here, in our private refuge. There must be something that reminds me of her. Okay, can you stop interrupting me, please? Thank you. The St. Christopher's School Lockdown. Blind Earth. Pedicrudor. Pugs, not drugs. Searching for a dynasty. Ode to a kumquat. The Encyclopedia Galactica. Dalmar Folklore. Horton hears some unpleasant truths about himself. I miss her <laughs> so much. Holy shit, dude. Shut How up. How is it possible that I can't remember her face? Yeah, I don't know. But, uh... 
And then Vanishing Town. Alright, what about down here? The Great Underground Empire. A history. One more key card, then I'll I ask Susie out. I have to remember her face. Yeah, we'll get to that. I'm reading your book titles. Uh, How Space Quest Ruined My Life. Prominence, a science fiction adventure. 1,001 innovative uses for a piece of string. A crazy's guide to fortify your liver. And that's why I'm single. A memoir. Kleptomania. Big pockets and better grabs. Life and death of a Kickstarter addict. The power of perseverance. Adventures of a scary bear. Storyteller. The grasshopper lies heavy and collected works of Blake back. Perhaps most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. Perhaps in her dresser or something that she liked. Okay. Well, let's... Are we able to walk around? Oh, weird. Okay. What's this? You have nothing to say about that creepy ass picture. Okay. Uh, hmm. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Okay. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I see some wine. This used to be her favorite spot. She used to sit here, put her legs on the table, lean back, and just give me one of her smiles. Those effervescent, incandescent smiles. Okay. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Oh. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. Yes. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Skin Quest! <laughs> February 28th, Volume 666. Language lessons in lingerie with the. Oh, yeah. Irresista. Boobtastic interview with Morgan Valnor. I'm terrified of dolphins. Meet Laney Barry. Up very close and personal. The exotic fringe magnet Atta uh, attracts your eyes. Attracts your eyes. Lesbian goats. <laughs> Myth or reality. Jenny Esther Dowlin shows you her body art. She was All special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. Well then. it. Okay. I miss her so much. How is it possible that I she made this with her own hands? She was really good. Let's go over here. Oh. What's, uh, what's this? Come love with peace in your heart, said Niam of the ice blue eyes. Ride with me, shed your mortal guise. Here is our mount, a snow white mare. Come oisin, oisin, to my gardens fair. In the land of youth, ply your art. Ours shall be the cycle of days, our sun and sky and Come, rainbow love, ways. Come with peace in your heart, said Niam of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. Okay, maybe she had blue eyes. Cool. What about here? What do we got? Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? Hmm. We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Okay. Guessing we need the key. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. Fine. Let's go over here. We go to this one. Yeah. There we go. Okay. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Okay. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. Hmm. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. 
Oh, well, how sweet. <clears throat> I am liking the simplicity of the interface. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Okay, then. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. How about this one? No. The bottom one. Nothing. Okay. cooking with gas. <clears throat> There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Okay. Blonde hair. Hers. I used it too when shaving. Excellent. What a fascinating story. Let's uh check in here. Keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. We're not going to take them. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? Okay. This one. They prevent that. my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Pills? I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Okay. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. Okay, then. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a note. Dearest, how do I say any of this? Oh. I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Well, wasn't that sweet. So glad I had some popcorn on hand. That was really long. All right. Anything else? Nope. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. At least five minutes. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me the soothing sound of her name. No, can we go back please? We have another... Pretty sure we have another drawer to check here. Yes, alright. How is any of this stuff not important? Hi. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Okay. I thought there might be something underneath some of the clothes, but, uh... Hmm. Pretty shambolic, isn't it? The organization <laughs> of its contents isn't much better. It'd be a shame to say we're fashionistas. Take another look at the picture, I think. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. Ah, we can see her now. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. 
my love. And we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Let's head over to the clock, shall we? How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. We seem to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. Everything around here is so familiar. Can we open the trunk now? Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. just as well stay here. Sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. I almost have it. What was she trying to tell me? The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. Okay, so I guess if we go back to previous locations, we might get new... Without any activity, the corner feels cold and <clears throat> lifeless. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? It, it's different. But that just... It can't be different. Am I going mad? It's different. Did the picture change? I know we can see Somehow her. Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Hmm. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? Hmm. Okay. Oh. This changed. Years passed, no tears fell, no death knell reached the golden shores they trod. Here dwelled once mortal and god. It was a poison of flesh, neom of the fae, till reason's light brought disarray. Broke through imagination's shell. All, are all my earthly loves beyond recall? Cried Oisin. Lost, lost as I am in throne. Years passed, no tears fell, no death knell reached the golden shores they trod. Another love story without a happy ending. How cheerful. Can we open the trunk now? What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. Hmm. Oh, I bet every hour something changes, doesn't it? Or 15 minutes, or what have you. No. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Armoire? Really? Could you pronounce that any more pretentiously? I should leave the keys here until she comes back, because I know she will. Uh -huh. You know that, do ya? 
She always reminded me to take these. I never asked her to. She just did it. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words. Yeah. Heard it. Now that we kind of know all the stuff we can check, we can see if anything changes. Alright, all seems to be fine. Okay. That was very creaky. I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. There's nothing to do in the picture. This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Okay. Oh, how we talk. Well, let's circle around, we'll see if anything's... Whoa! Okay, now she looks mad. That picture is definitely changed. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love. Do you, do you not notice she's We don't scowling? have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, oh, so God. this one is quite important. I don't recall seeing this plant before. Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep uh -huh. it. Hmm. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. Hmm. Hestad says, or maybe his wife is dead in the trunk. I should say, well, the full thing he said was, in before you're the one who's dead. Or maybe his wife is dead in the trunk. Yeah. I know it's my it's general kind of state of mind, too. but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. Mm -hmm. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. Huh. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. <laughs> Stout says, My sweet dead Serena, who I killed, <laughs> and is dead in the trunk. <laughs> Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Other than a few of her limbs. Yeah. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. Hmm. When was the last time we made love? Hmm. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm, passionate touch of her lips but I can't sleep mm. it feels as if I've been awake for ages interesting so very few locate oh what we got here is there anything new here no it's the same actually wait a minute does he say anything else about it time works differently in the other world the other world. She's gone, and even then I just keep reading. But it's always been my way of looking for answers, processing information. I can think of worse ways. Okay. Want to open the trunk now? We found this trunk at a flea market. 
We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Nope. The guy who snapped this, our host yeah. that night, Great. used an actual film camera. Amazing. It's a different world. I didn't cook much for her. Always so worried about my stuff. That was the trigger. Okay. Did it just get darker in here? I'm getting more light coming in the window. Every time the clock dings, something changes. Now she looks even more angry. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Oh, wow. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. Wow. No, no longer the wistful remembrances. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Okay. Let's go see what he says about the dirty magazine now. Care less about the damn thing now. Okay then. Couldn't care less about it. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else, just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless she was the one who left. Ah. Uh. I torture myself trying to remember. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. Impotent? High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. Lovely. I'm too upset to even think straight. Huh. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Mad and angry, ladies and gentlemen. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? Because that's the way life is. It shits in your I'm face I'm not crawling lot. in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's, it's just not dark enough anyway. All the real color faded from it long ago. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! Wow. Everything she wore, just to lure me in. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire! What is wrong with me? Indeed. What is wrong with you? You were so... Remembering her so happily a few minutes ago, and <laughs> now you're... Talking about her like she's the devil incarnate. Stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. Ouch. That's harsh. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this... this sublunary distraction. Sublunary. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. I hate her so much. 
Wow. It's just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Hmm. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? Hmm. Okay, let's head out here. Maybe he'll remember something more about what she was trying to say to him at the chair here. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. Uh. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Hmm. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. Huh. She actually threw this at me once. She could have killed me. That's how the bedroom window got that crack. Something... Oh, here we are. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Just detail of the wine label. Okay. <clears throat> I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Alright. What do we got now? Changeable man. Insolent wretch. Who was it made the first overtures, named love unending as time endures? Even as we rode across my father's realm, the mystic sea burnished thy poet's helm. Know this, scribe it in thy final sketch. Spell thy love without fault to the fay, or end thy life with feet of mortal clay. Changeable man, insolent wretch. Ha <laughs> ha, sounds like Serena, all right. Her father's realm. She was a daughter of the Celtic sea god Mananon. What was it? Machler? Scholars say Niav's divine father, Mananon, was of an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahaja Danan. Why torture myself trying to remember? Okay. Are we able to open it now? Oh my god, he opened it! Finally! Holy shit. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. Hmm. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation? Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Hmm. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. Well then. Now I remember. It was me all the time. I lost her. And it's all my fault. It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. What's this? Her jewelry box. What is it doing here? Well, I actually took an item with me. A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. Alright. Well, no body in the trunk. I wonder, can we open the armor now? 
I'm too upset to even think straight. Nope. I hate her so much. Hmm. Let me go over there. There we go. A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. <laughs> but I've lost all hope now. Lost all hope. Well, we found the stuff in the trunk. Maybe there's more all here. All of now. this. These. No. Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. Sit down. We need to talk. Oh. I feel like throwing this chair through the window. But that would just make me even angrier. <laughs> when did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. Hmm. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. All right. So what are we missing? We're missing something. Don't think... Yeah, that picture hasn't changed. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I told her the rug was fine work. Like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? Let's go maybe back over here. That incessant noise! I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now! Sunlight. Birdsong. <laughs> Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? Hmm. Doting on her hair like a child. Hmm. But I'm, I'm being unfair. <clears throat> Would I have wanted her to be some frump? <sighs> I'm too angry to even care. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. <laughs> but it was a sore point for me. A sore point. How to watch out for those sore points. No. I torture myself trying to remember. Dearest. How do I say any of this? Yeah, I read that one already. Oh, that was kind of nice. Just let me skip right over to the other drawer. Let me do that one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Shortcuts for the win. All right. Nothing there. Huh. What are we missing? It feels darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Or is it? I feel so turned around, I... It can't be happening. I'm too upset to even think straight. Uh -huh. I am very upset. <laughs> I am a ball of rage. And anger. I am insane with anger. Ah, I keep thinking there's going to be something under there, but there never is. Why do I keep going in there? Well, on the off chance there will be something. All right, so what is, there's like got to be one freaking thing we have to click on to get to the next section here. I sense that we are very close. Is this where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? Ah, okay. He needs to put it down somewhere. Well, I would think the kitchen table. That's that's where we started. So let's let's head out there. Okay. Now. There. Perfect. Secrets. 
I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. Okay. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. Uh -huh. She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? I hate her so much. All of this... These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all okay. lies. Okay, well, how was that not a trigger? You just don't get it, do you? You never do. Oh, okay, here we go. I couldn't care less about this damn- Yes, go ahead and empty the whole salt shaker on your meal. I hope you choke. Truth is, I could have used this spice to get some of her abominations down my throat. <laughs> That good a cook, was she? I torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this. I couldn't. Why torture? I'm too upset. I hate all of this. I. Why, I couldn't care okay. less about this damn thing. She was always yammering about the salt, feigning concern about my blood pressure. Should have emptied this into her lying throat till she vomited. Wow, that's. If she were here, I'd rub salt into her wounds, all right? Just like she's rubbed salt into mine. Why torture myself trying to remember? She never had any sense for balancing a meal. <laughs> it was either spicy hot or cringeworthy bland. I was used to much better fare before my family fell on hard times. Wow, dude, you Almost like... empty. So typical of you, Serena. Not one limit. Dude, you have issues. <laughs> I'm too upset to even think straight. You, you just have issues. Like, serious problems. Here's your stupid omelet. Thanks for my stupid omelet. Heavy damn thing. Cast iron. I hate her so much. Okay, good. Her favorite chair, huh? I should just smash this thing to pieces! This is wobbly and off balance, just like she was. Especially that night. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Go this way, go this way. Okay. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. <laughs> Anything else in here? Why torture my I'm too upset. I hate all of this. I couldn't care. Why torture I'm too upset. I hate all of this. I could why torture my I sit here on the train taking me to my final farewell to Yeah, okay. Alright, so we've looked at everything everywhere. Some things multiple times over. Uh Looked at the pictures. We looked at the. What's, what's that? What's, the, what's over the bed? Is that a thing? Something? No. Too upset to even think straight. No. I want you to open the armoire. Let's open it. I think we're ready to open it. Oh. We actually opened the armoire. Oh my god. Whoa! My God! What is this? It can't. It isn't. Oh shit! How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... 
How, how long has it been? I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Well, we found Serena. How do I get out of here now? We used to have some sleeping pills here. They're gone. <laughs> oh, I'd give anything for a bottle of scotch. Mm. Well, we Dead, were close. Worm eaten wood. She wasn't in the trunk, she was in the armoire. Oh my god. What the? My face. Why do... What's happened to my face? Why do I look like a corpse? Is this my punishment? It's like looking into a mirror. I've just been slowly rotting inside all along. Until... I... took her life. I am a demon, a destroyer, impure. What the hell? Let's go over here. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. Oh shit. But no, it couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. We spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. What? You forgot your... Fuck! It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the air. Oh! Oh, oh shit! No. Not like this! Please! No! Oh, damn! Well, holy shit. <laughs> Stout actually called it. I was the dead one. So she cheated on him with some other guy. They murdered him. And then it was his spirit in the cabin, unable to remember what happened. Craziness, man. Serena Nelson, who graciously allowed us to use her name and likeness. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Stout says, to be fair, he kind of deserved it. Guy had issues. <laughs> He deserved to be murdered horribly and stuffed into the closet. And then have his corpse burned in the cabin.
go. I was going to say, is the song going to go on for like 10 more minutes after the credits have ended? <laughs> All right. Well, that was uh, that was interesting. Uh, I like. Oh, and it just it actually quits out of the game. Cool. Um, I like the idea of that one. Um, I have to agree with kind of the assessment of everyone in the chat. Was the acting was a bit cringy, but uh, but story wise, I mean, I, I like just sort of short, simple horror stories like that. Uh, no jump scares, nothing. It was just basically all, you know. Uh, figure out the mystery basically so there you go that was serena a nice uh dark little short story An unrested spirit horribly confused about the circumstances of his own death <laughs> Alrighty, well that is it for this one hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in whatever the next one is until then sayonara <laughs>